Now that we've learned a little bit about the Enterprise Library, let's go ahead and see how to install it. I've got my web browser open to entlib.codeplex.com, and this is the home page for the Enterprise Library. Now before we get into installing this, I do want to let you know that there are two ways that you can install the Enterprise Library and the blocks in it. I'm going to show you the full download way that is going to install the entire Enterprise Library and the source code for you. You can also use NuGet if you're familiar with NuGet inside of your Visual Studio project to install just the blocks that you want to use. I would encourage you to do the full install and to go through this method first until you're familiar with Enterprise Library and when you're more familiar with it and you know what block you want to use and you don't need everything to be installed then you can use NuGet to do this. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to go to download official releases here and you can see here that the active release currently is Enterprise Library 5.0 so I'm going to click there and I'm going to go to the downloads here and then I'm just going to go ahead and download this version the full enterprise library 5.0.msi so I'll go ahead and run this and you can see it brings us to a setup wizard here we can walk through this accept the terms and you can see that it's going to install the binaries a configuration editor for Visual Studio, which is a very nice feature, and the source code. And I'd recommend that you go ahead and install the source code because it has a lot of good information in there and it has a test that can tell you how the Enterprise Library works. And you can also modify this and repackage it up if you need to. So go ahead and click Next and Install. And then I'm going to launch the Microsoft Enterprise Library source installer. This is to get the source code installed. And you can see here, I'm just leaving this at the defaults here, but this is installing the source code for each one of the application blocks. I'm going to go ahead and leave this just as it is. And it's also going to give me the option to build the application blocks when I finish this which is nice to do so that you're all ready to use them in your application. So I'll go ahead and click finish and you can see here that it's popped up a command console where it's running a script to build everything. So now that everything's installed you can see that if I go to that installation directory the default installation directory which was under my documents here you can see I now have a folder here that has the blocks in it and inside here you can see that there's a couple of solution files that you can use to be able to build, run, take a look at the Enterprise Library. I'd encourage you to take a look to open up this Enterprise Library solution and see how the Enterprise Library is organized and get familiar with that. The nice thing about having the source code here is that it's real easy for you to go back and figure out how something works and see how it's implemented. And if you need to change behavior, you could do that as well. But that's really it. It's pretty simple to get installed here. Now you'll have the ability to use the blocks in your application. You can just add a reference to these. And as we get into each one of the blocks, we're going to cover how to use them and we're going to see how to add them to our solutions and projects.